screw with you. Well, you know, I just thought I'd stop by and check in on you. Must be real busy working in the dark room this late. Yeah, yeah. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. I'm Mark Goodson, television production. Oh, Domino's Pizza announces... Mega Deal. An amazing special. Get any large pizza with any number of your favorite toppings for just $9.99. Mega Deal. If it's gotta be good, and it's gotta be now, then it's gotta be Domino's. Remember, get any large pizza with any number of your favorite toppings for just $9.99. Call now for this mega saving deal. And don't forget to try our buffalo wings. Mega deal. It's a mega deal. Worried about your teenager? Here are some warning signs to look for. Suddenly fails at school. Destroys property. Uses alcohol or other drugs heavily. Withdraws from family and friends. Becomes physically violent. Runs away from home. Talks about or attempts suicide. If you're worried about your teen, Charter can help you find the right resources. If you don't get help at Charter, please get help somewhere. If you're looking... He aims a gun at an American Journal news crew. We have it all on video. I'm Nancy Glass, and this is American Journal. the nation a crying child the anguished faces of the parents who raised him and the father he is meeting for the first time it just has to be absolute hell on earth <laughs> today baby Richard the deliverance and his first night at home with his new parents exclusive new video of Pamela Anderson and hubby Tommy Lee but brace yourself a gun-toting Tommy Lee points, cocks, and threatens to shoot back. I'll shoot you right now. A volatile encounter at the home of Hollywood's hottest couple. Get out of here. Today, Tommy Lee, raw. You'll remember him as Fergie's toe-sucking financial advisor. But Johnny Bryan has hit on some hard times, and you won't believe where we found him judging a beauty pageant. He would show up at the judging table with a three-piece pinstripe suit, a bottle of Dom Perignon, and two glasses. Plus, trouble on the set of a new Ace Ventura movie. Jim exploded at his director. Jim Perry's ego is as out of control as his salary. Somebody stop me! Nancy Glass, welcome to American Journal. Pamela Anderson's husband, Tommy Lee, brandished a shotgun at an American Journal camera crew outside his home. Well, we kept the cameras rolling, and we'll show you that amazing video later. But first, it was a heart-wrenching scene. A four-year-old boy was taken away from the only mother he has ever known. He was given to his biological father, a man he has never met. The child, baby Richard, has been involved in a bitter tug of love that reached a tearful climax yesterday. We found out how baby Richard spent the first few hours in his new home. An hour before they would relinquish custody of their adopted son forever, the couple known as John and Jane Doe set two bags of his most beloved toys on the curb. Moments later, the biological parents, Daniela and Otto Kirchner, arrived. Neighbors jeered. And then, with the only father he's ever known and his big brother watching, the boy, known in court papers as Baby Richard, was gently pried from his adopted mother's arms and handed to his biological father, a man he had never seen before. Richard is four years old. About 200 neighbors in the small town of Schaumburg, Illinois, gathered for the emotional moment. None supported the Kirchners. 
and Tomaszewski was angry. Yes, if he had any love for that boy, just leave him there. He's been there for four years. He was sobbing, he was terrified, and he was holding on as tight as he could. Please don't make me go, and then to his father, please don't make me go. And this is the most unnatural thing that can be. It's unnatural for a parent to give away their child and then decide that when it's convenient, they want him back. I still don't believe it. I still don't believe it can happen in this country. One woman witnessed the meeting between Otto Kirchner and his son. He promised him that he could call his mom and dad. The Doe's reportedly called the local press to witness the ordeal. Gerald Solaby is one of their attorneys. When it came to the reality that they were going to take this child, we felt it was in the public good to know what a terrible situation was unfolding under our supposed justice system. Lauren Heineman is the attorney for the biological parents. People want to portray them as these hideous, vile monsters, these beasts because it helps people to rationalize the event. But in reality, if they get underneath the surface, you're going to find out that these are two very decent and loving people. A new puppy was waiting as the Kirchners put Richard in their van. Then there was a stop at McDonald's and finally a trip to the boy's new home, where Richard reportedly called his older brother at the Doe's house and played with toys. The Kirchners reportedly slept on the floor in the child's room to be close to him his first night. He was at least calm. He was at ease with what was going on. When he first got to the house, he was shown his room. His reaction was uh, two words. He said, oh, wow. But Barry Leventhal, a child psychologist who has met with both sides during this case, says Richard's true emotions have yet to surface. He'll be incredibly depressed and very sad. will miss his family desperately. That he will um, be crying, probably be terrified at points along the way. These people were really parents. They would have taken their time. They would have followed professional advice and that would have greatly, I think, decreased the potential that this child will be permanently damaged. The battle for baby Richard began four years ago when his biological mother, Daniela, gave him up for adoption because she thought the child's father, Otto, had abandoned her. Daniela told Otto the child had died. Weeks later, she told him the truth, and Kirchner filed for custody of his son. Baby Richard was then two months old. The couple has since married. All of this delays, delays, appeals, and this case is over. After losing early court battles, the Illinois Supreme Court awarded the Kirchners custody of their biological son in January. Before Sunday, they had never laid eyes on the boy. He will have actually everything what he wants. I don't think so. He will miss so much this parent. Both sides feel they were right in their struggle for the boy. Both say they acted out of love and parental concern. It is somehow unsettling to learn that only two weeks ago, Richard learned he was adopted. His small voice remains unheard. This is a wrenching uh, experience for everyone concerned, and it is replicated every day across the nation, particularly for people who have children born out of wedlock. I found that once people know the whole story of exactly what happened and know the truth, everyone says what Otto is doing is right. The legal battle over baby Richard is not yet over. The U.S. Supreme Court has twice refused to hear the case, but a third attempt is going to be made. Meanwhile, the adoptive parents have no legal visitation rights. When we come back... Tommy Lee turns a gun on an American Journal news crew. They say Pam Anderson will tame Tommy Lee, but... We'll show you what happened after that next. And later, feuding on the set of Ace Ventura 2.
I tell you, it's not easy being a rug. Ooh, that's cold. No respect at all. Hey, that hurts. Who watch it. My whole life, I keep getting stepped on. Oh, no, rug burn. I tell you, I got the dirtiest job in the house. The germs, the smells, they keep coming. Oh, look at me. I'm a mess. Oh, I'll never meet a girl rug. Lady, we've been through this before. Spray-ons, rub-ins, they make things worse. Oh, I need the rug, doctor. Yeah, here it comes. Ooh, lower. Ooh, to the left. You are there. Only rug doctor's vibrating brush can do that. Right, kid? Ooh, I must have lost 20 pounds. Oh, not another one. Hey, lady, better keep the rug doctor around. Hey, not here. Go find a tree. A when you rent a new lightweight Stop. rug doctor, clean carpets are easy. Rent at supermarkets, hardware, and drug stores everywhere. Or you can buy one. Call for $50 off purchase or $5 off rental, plus this free brochure. 1-800-RUG-DOCTOR. I probably wouldn't be alive today if I hadn't got help with my alcohol problem 29 years ago. Since then, I've lived a full life and great health. I ran 32 miles on my 58th birthday. But best of all, this little girl has never seen her grandpa take a drink. For 24-hour help, call 1-800-95-KOALA at Koala Hospital and Counseling Centers in Plymouth, South Bend, and Fort Wayne. Dairy Queen is introducing three nutty new Blizzard flavor treats and freeze frozen yogurt treats. <laughs> There's the breathtaking chocolate almond. I love this. Awesome pecan crunch. I want one. And tantalizing walnut fudge. Three new nicely nutty Blizzard and freeze flavors. Only at Dairy Queen. Hot eats, cool treats. We treat you right. Some have said that marriage to Pamela Anderson will have a calming influence on the wild ways of rocker Tommy Lee. Well, it seems she still has a lot of work to do in taming her new husband. You see, Tommy Lee brandished a gun at an American Journal camera crew outside the couple's home. He appeared to load it and he threatened to shoot. Elisa White has the exclusive story. If rock and roll star Tommy Lee seemed at first to be enjoying himself as he basked in the spotlight with his new wife, Pamela Anderson, he apparently doesn't find the public attention amusing anymore. This is how the former Motley Crue drummer greeted our camera crew the other day when we tried to videotape the newlyweds' new home in Malibu, California. The tattooed rocker cocked a shotgun and threatened to, well, shoot right back at us. Not exactly the sort of behavior you'd expect from a man enjoying a new life with one of the world's most alluring women. It was just weeks ago when Pamela moved her husband out of his bachelor pad and into this magnificent $2.5 million home high in the scenic Santa Monica Mountains. In this exclusive video, Tommy Lee and Pamela, two months after their marriage, are enjoying each other's company, and they seem to be having a heck of a time playing house. Right now, Tommy and Pam could not be happier. They're in newlywed bliss. Star Magazine columnist Janet Charlton. Pamela wants to make it an ideal romance. Pamela does have white picket fence in the back of her mind. She wants a happy little family, a beautiful home. She wants According to, to Charlton, the couple has signed a six-month lease on this Santa Fe-style house. Only a week after moving in, they've already sunk a small fortune into renovations and redecorating. Right now it has a soundproof room so Tommy can record, which would be perfect for a recording studio. Pam is already planning to plant a garden. She wants lots of flowers and lots of vegetables. She wants to make Tommy healthy. She's doing a lot of cooking at home. She's really become a housewife. Pamela and Tommy are often seen around town doing ordinary things.
Charlton says behind the scenes, there is a reason Pamela is so determined to live a quiet, low-key lifestyle. Pamela wants to tame her husband down. When Tommy's on the road, he's with the guys and they party. They go to strip clubs, they have wild parties. There are a lot of groupies involved and a lot of temptations. The only advice I can give Pam is good luck. That's all. Good luck. Bobby Brown was Tommy's fiance and living lover for two years. She says Mr. Lee was hardly Mr. Faithful. He was cheating, big time. Lee's stormy marriage to Melrose Place's Heather Locklear also raised questions about his ability to be a one-woman man. Right now, Tommy is perfectly happy with Pamela. He knows that he's got the, the most gorgeous blonde in Hollywood, and at this point, he's uh, completely content with her. The day we were in the neighborhood, construction crews were busy working the grounds of the new home. Our camera crew positioned itself on a public street and started to tape when suddenly... The master of the house, Mr. Lee himself, appeared on a second floor balcony, waving a shotgun and screaming obscenities. In this case, we thought it prudent to pack our gear and leave the location. Tommy Lee's spokesman gave us a terse no comment when we asked him about the shotgun-wielding incident. And when we showed the videotape to Los Angeles attorney Royal Oaks, he had this to say. It's against the law to point a gun at somebody unless you're doing it in self-defense. And if you're doing it in a rude or angry or threatening manner, and if you're in their presence, you're guilty of a misdemeanor in California. We certainly hope the beach bride and her groom have many years of happiness. And to that end, we have a belated wedding gift, a decision not to press charges. Well, Tommy Lee has already had one brush with the law over a gun. He pleaded no contest to carrying a semi-automatic pistol at L.A. airport. He was sentenced to a year's probation. When we come back, tension on the set of a blockbuster movie. Ace Ventura 2 is not a pleasant set to work on. Jim Carrey's ego is out of control at his salary. Is success spoiling Jim Carrey? Jim stomped off, went into his trailer, wouldn't come out until the director was trained. That's next. Travel provided by Continental, offering business first, first class service at a business class fair. Wednesday on American Journal, Susan Smith drowned her young son. Now an exclusive look at her ex-boyfriend and his family. See how this has changed them forever. Al Raleigh here. I had to get away from my brother Ray to tell you about my latest creation, Raleigh's new chicken fingers. You mean the world's fastest chicken fingers, Al? I think people care more about how they taste, Ray. Well, sure, they taste great, but people won't wait all day. They want them fast, Al. Take it. Oh. That's not what I was going to say, Ray. What I was going to say is, try Raleigh's new tender, tasty chicken fingers with your choice of sauces, just $1.99. Raleigh's, twice as good. Twice as fast. This is my commercial, Ray. You're holding up traffic, Al. Of course, that never happened when I was in the commercial. My husband is a do-it-yourselfer. I indulge Mr. Fixit in all of his do-it-yourself fantasies, except for one, protecting our family. Hey, honey, would you plug in the drill? What would I do without you? You'd probably do it yourself. But when it comes time to protect your family, you need an expert, like your Farm Bureau insurance agent. It's amazing all the things a pro knows that most people never think of. Hey, uh, honey, could you get me some buckets? Are you sure you don't want to do it yourself? For Mother's Day, Maya has everything from... How'd you know? ...to... Oh, you sweet thing. We even have... Oh, my. ...and always... Oh. ...more for less. Make Mother's Day special for her. Get a wicker picnic basket with 20-piece dinnerware and tablecloth only $17.97. And Mom would love a Remington hairdryer just $17.99. The Meyer Mother's Day sale. Oh. With savings like this, you'll... Love it. ...as much as she will. Come on, give Mom a big old kiss. In a park designed for the ultimate thrill, the visitors you feel that? became the main attraction. Look out! Down! The biggest movie ever made comes to television for the first time. Oh, that's nice. Gotta go. Sunday, May 7th, at a special time. Freeze! Everyone will be.
be watching. Jurassic Park, Sunday, May 7th at 8, 7 Central on NBC. The Lebovoff Law Offices, a law firm that represents people injured in accidents. No one knows better than those hurt on the road how much an accident can disrupt your world. Nothing can change what's already happened, but there are laws that help you provide for those you love, and the right lawyer can pull your life back together. Call a law firm that stands by the people. Call a law firm that works for the people. The Lebovoff Law Offices represent people injured in accidents. Please call 423-2581. In just over a year, Jim Carrey went from a minor role in a TV series to becoming one of Hollywood's hottest, most successful, and highest paid comedians. That's pretty incredible, and it's enough to go to anybody's head. Well, right now, Jim Carrey is shooting the sequel to his hit movie, Ace Ventura, and as Lauren Terry reports, there have been some superstar tantrums on the set. I've got a little snack for you. Jim Carrey turned into a box office superstar overnight with his role in Ace Ventura and his role as the Riddler in this summer's Batman is, by all accounts, another smash. <laughs> now in San Antonio, Texas, Carrey's working on the sequel to his Ace Ventura pet detective blockbuster. But we're told that something's gone wrong on the Texas set. Some folks are saying that Jim Carrey has changed, that something very puzzling has happened to this really nice guy. Celebrity journalist Marianne Norbaum. Ace Ventura 2 is not a pleasant set to work on. Jim Carrey's ego is as out of control as his salary is. In the original Ace Ventura, Jim's salary was $350,000, paltry compared to what he's making now. For the sequel, his pay is a reported $15 million. Now, with all that income at stake, some observers believe Carrey might be putting too much stress on himself and taking it out on the people around him. Director Tom DeSerchio of Ace 2 was one of the first to take a fall. Jim exploded at his director and said, you don't understand me, you don't understand my artistic ways, you're not doing this right, and if we don't get it right, the critics will hate me. Just exploded, stomped off, went into his trailer, wouldn't come out until the director was changed. Not only was the director replaced, Carrie's co-star, Georgiana Robertson, seen here in the movie Ready to Wear, was also let go. She was on the ACE set for exactly half a day before she was told to take a hike, reportedly for not working out. He picks women, uh, he picks co-stars in general who are people he can dominate on the screen. There's nobody who is going to stand up to him as a performer and be his equal on the scene and on the screen. Jim is going to be the star of this movie with no competition from any of his co-stars. Is this acting like a big star? I'm leaving. Yeah. Jim Carrey certainly seems to be a case of too much, too soon, too fast. He doesn't seem to know how to control it as he goes along. He's letting it control him. Somebody stop me! And in addition to those problems, there were reports that Carrie's co-star had actually quit that project because she felt the plot had racist overtones. When we come back, a glamorous new role for the man who was caught in a compromising position with Fergie. Oh, hey, That's next. Accommodations provided by Hilton. The next time you travel, come to Hilton. We'll turn your business trip into a real pleasure. Hilton, so nice to come home to. American Journal will be right back after these messages. These have always brought me luck. White Diamonds, the intriguing fragrance from Elizabeth Taylor. White Diamonds from Mother's Day, a $117 value, just $45. Sarah Lee Cheesecake. It's incredible what people will do for the only cheesecake good enough to be called Sarah Lee. Nobody doesn't like Sarah Lee. You're looking for something different. Imagine the lush taste of paradise. Tropical passion. New from Crystal Light. Crystal Light. Pink strawberry with a kiss of kiwi. 
passion fruit with a splash of pineapple. Light, refreshing, and just five calories. If passion had a taste, this would be it. Tropical passion. New from Crystal Light. At some point, you have to decide to follow your dreams. That's why I got my bachelor's degree from ITT Tech. Some days can be pretty rough. And the traffic can be a bear. But I know I did the right thing. Every time I see the view from my office. about electronics. Call ITT Tech at 1-800-942-0088. That's 1-800-942-0088. Next time on American Journal, Michael Jackson has in-law trouble with Priscilla Presley. Here's a preview. Michael Jackson with in-law trouble. Lisa Marie feels that her mother's being a little bit hypocritical. A rift between relatives. Michael, Lisa Marie, and Priscilla Presley. Plus, Pat Boone's an American symbol of goodness and purity. But behind his wholesome image was a cheating heart. Man, I feel the same lures and attraction. Pat Boone, as you never believe. You'll see those stories next time. And finally today, he became famous by being seen in a, well compromising position with Fergie. Johnny Bryan is the financier who was photographed making out with the Duchess of York. Well, Bryan still has an eye for beauty. Here's Elisa White. Although he's a wealthy American businessman and jet setter, you probably know Johnny Bryan better as the man seen in a shocking series of photos sucking the toes of the Duchess of York. What is your exact relationship with the Duchess, Mr. Bryan? The ensuing controversy thrust Johnny Bryan, the financier with a fancy for Fergie's feet, into the glare of a global spotlight. Since then, we hadn't heard much about Bryan. According to recent published reports, Bryan has landed in financial trouble. His London-based company is said to be in debt, so you'd expect him to be busy at his desk. Well, not quite. We found Brian trying his hand at a new job, a judge at the annual Miss Hawaiian Tropic beauty pageant in Florida. Very articulate man, uh, uh, extremely intelligent, uh, incredible, uh, well-dressed, uh, trim, fit, uh, just a... Uh, the uh, perfect, perfect gentleman, and just, just a very nice person. Ron Rice, who built the suntan lotion business, says he met Brian in London and invited him to judge the contest. He was elated. He just, he said, I'd love to do this right down his line. And he, uh, he was the first one off the plane and <laughs> ready to go. He would show up with, uh, at the judging table with a uh, three-piece pinstripe suit, a bottle of Dom Perignon, and two glasses. <laughs> So if we can judge a judge by his past, we're certain Mr. Bryan did his best to uphold his reputation. We've got to have the right people, so the, the judges are qualified and they, they uh, definitely uh, pick us the best girl and this is what we have to have. And Bryan is being invited back as a judge next year. That's all for today. I'm Nancy Glass. Please join us again tomorrow for another American Journal.
Domino's Pizza announces... Mega Deal. An amazing special. Get any large pizza with any number of your favorite toppings for just $9.99. Mega Deal. If it's got to be good, and it's got to be now, then it's got to be Domino's. Remember, get any large pizza with any number of your favorite toppings for just $9.99. Call now for this mega-saving deal. And don't forget to try our buffalo wings. Mega deal. It's a mega deal. Homeowners, this is Billy Packer for Mr. Cash. If you need cash, call 1-800-444-CASH. Why do people call Mr. Cash? Bill consolidation, home improvement, taxes, liens, you name it. Call now. What about credit? Good or bad, we're here to help the homeowner. Call now. What do you like best about your job? Without a doubt, helping people. Call now. Nobody gets you more cash faster, so pick up that phone and call. Wheel of Fortune, weeknights at 6.30 on TV 33. Now 53 degrees, the possibility of some light rain moving into the area this evening. I'm Dick Floria. The O.J. Simpson trial has lost another juror, a black female juror who told the judge she'd simply had enough. The Oklahoma City death toll is 138. About 50 are still reported missing. Tomorrow is primary election day, both in Indiana and Ohio. City offices are at stake, and in Ohio, local school finance issues are on the ballot. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed down five points in today's trading. We'll have complete news here on Channel 33 tonight at 6. More news in one hour, weather in 30 minutes. The big players, the witness, the judge, the Judas. The wedding ceremony that took place 10 years ago ended up here at a murder trial in the Los Angeles Criminal Courts building. The wedding video ended up in court today, too. O.J. Simpson's lawyers tried to stop our exclusive broadcast, but the judge ruled in our and your favor. And so begins day one of the wedding video of the century. Hello and welcome, I'm Penny Daniels. On the morning of February 2nd, 1985, 30 close friends of O.J. Simpson and a beautiful young woman named Nicole Brown gathered to witness their union as man and wife. It was a family affair. Throughout the afternoon, it expanded into a festive reception of dancing, hugging, and parting by 200 guests on the Simpson-Brentwood estate. The video of that wedding is an incredible document. And a current affair has obtained exclusive rights to air it all this week. Today, we begin this special presentation by Allison Holloway and Steve Dunleavy. The wedding tape. I, O.J., take you, Nicole. I, O.J., take you, Nicole. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. Nicole, would you repeat your vows after me, please, to O.J.? I, Nicole, take you, O.J. To be my wedded husband. Mr. and Mrs. O.J. Simpson. Mm. It was a kiss meant to seal the future for an American hero and a hometown beauty. For Nicole, it was a day she had been waiting for for a long time, seven years. For the groom, O.J. Simpson, it was very special in a lot of ways, too. Over the next several days of this amazing tape, we'll hear O.J. describe in emotional detail how he felt about Nicole on their wedding day. Yes, you will hear and see many moments which, in the light or shadow of this past year, take on unavoidable significance. Both Steve and I have been looking through this wedding video, all three and a half hours of it, frame by frame this past week. It was an extraordinary experience. It is that. But what we'd like to do first is share a glimpse of the images you'll see in the week ahead. Without words, without comment. Images that will stay with us for a long time to come. All right, let's have a drum roll. One, two, three. I just want to say it was the happiest day of my life. It really was. And everybody said it would be. Did you see OJ? Yeah. Did you? Is he nervous? How do I look? Hi, OJ. 
they take you to be? To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Mr. and Mrs. O.J. Simpson. Hey. I knew uh, many, many years ago that she would never leave O.J. anymore, that this was the man, and I was convinced, I'm convinced in tears that she would marry that man. It's not like a stepmother, she's like a best friend. Yeah, like a good, like a best friend. Yeah, like a best friend. Because we've known her for so long, and we shared so much with her. No, my wife. Even though I'd say that again. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I just trust that by the way you live and by the way you treat others, O.J., by the way you value life, that you will lead Nicole to say continually with breathless wonder, Oh God, I'm a woman most fortunate, for out of all of this world, O.J. has chosen me. With my sweetheart. Well, that's just three minutes out of the entire three and a half hours. And when we come back, we'll start at the beginning as the bride prepares for the most important day of her life. Isn't that fun? Your finishing hair looks great. It does. It looks so hot. Thanks, Lana. Please don't Well done! Well done! No matter how long it takes to get your diet Pepsi. Don't worry. Ah. Great taste is always guaranteed. Just made it. Yes. Ha. Straw. Well done. It's what's cooking right now at Buzz Ollie's. Buzz Ollie's real Italian. Pressmark Carpet Selection System is the newest, most exciting way to buy carpet. It really lets you compare carpets and get exactly what you want. And now, only at Clark & Mitchell, the nation's best Trustmark carpet sale is on. Every carpet, over 3,000 choices, on sale for half price. Labor, normally $5 per yard, free with carpet purchase. Lifetime guaranteed pad, normally $6 per yard, free with carpet purchase. Plus, take six months to pay with no interest. This fantastic Trustmark carpet sale ends Sunday. Hurry to any Clark & Mitchell location today. Before you invest in central air conditioning, look into a cooler alternative. Add an energy-efficient electric heat pump to your gas furnace. It gives you central air in summer and saves you money on your heating bills in winter. Let us prove it. Call 1-800-777-3747. Here's why adding an electric heat pump to your gas furnace creates an ideal heating combo for this climate. 
the heat pump is best when it's above freezing, the gas furnace below. Each one working only when it's most efficient. To save you money, call 1-800-777-3747. Simpson trial. We continue now with our exclusive presentation of the O.J. and Nicole wedding tape by Steve Dunleavy and Allison Holloway. While Allison follows the cameras following Nicole on the day of the wedding to O.J., I'm going to try and lead you through the other half of those special moments where O.J. pals around with his closest buddy. And as we watch Nicole begin her preparations with the help of her sisters and a makeup woman, it's hard not to be struck by the simple, warm mood that filled the Rockingham estate that February morning. <laughs> you both used to the worst lights. I should have had them change. I didn't have time. I, you know, I thought you were probably nervous. I said to Cindy, is she nervous? Cindy said, yes, I think so. I just kept worrying that I wasn't going to get here. But you, you knew I'd get here. Put your face. Good old Cindy. Yeah, thank God she's here to move it. What time? Know? No, I just didn't even ask what time it is. I don't even want to know. It's getting late. Is it? That's why. It's 9.30. That's okay. It's that's 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 why. It's not so bad. I mean, I could oh, we have to put on this other dress. I could have put my pretty robe on to get ready this time. You know? No, the so diamond cool. necklace definitely overshadows. I like the shoes, too. The shoes? Yeah. Ah! Did you get a picture of the shoes? Yes, of course. I have to do it. <laughs> I pushed them off. I don't know if I took them or What, eyelashes? Oh, that's a very we, fine one. We would have brought you ours. We're famous for our eyelashes. Really? Did you bring them? Mm -hmm. We made them. Are they nicer? Yeah. Well, we manufactured them. Very Those aren't semi permanent ones, are they? Oh, We're upstairs at the Simpson Mansion on Rockingham Avenue. Nicole Brown is getting dressed for her wedding. Just, just wear the necklace on oh, the nude. I did a picture with her. I thought, <laughs> That's Nicole's sister, Denise, her maid of honor. Okay, what color do you want your eyes? Uh, I just usually wear just brown, just natural. So you that you want. Yeah, maybe a little, but, you know, not too much. Hi, I knew. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen it yet? Uh-huh. Is it pretty? Yes. Well, nail biters are not ready. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's another scene out at the mansion oh gate. Boy. A white Rolls Royce is pulling up. <laughs> That's Jason, OJ's son from his first marriage. He's just a kid, only 15. Let's stop right here to get a look at O.J.'s inner circle. The boys, they call themselves. In front, the best man, A.C. Cowling. Yeah, where's O'Neal? <laughs> oh. <laughs> With the silver hair, businessman Wayne Hughes. Now next to O.J., the sportscaster, Ahmad Rashad. And on the right, that's Marcus Allen, the great running back, O.J.'s protege. Back upstairs, Nicole is being fitted with her wedding dress. Such a lovely bride. Everybody work on it. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get you dressed. Mm -hmm. Nicole's sister, the baby, Tonya, with Dominique. And that's Lou Brown, the proud father. Hello. Uh, oh, I was looking for you earlier, Daddy. Are you wearing that? Yeah. I was going to say, I've never seen Daddy in a tuxedo before. Mm -hmm. You're not even in one. Good morning. So, are you going to go? I see you right through. Yeah. Who's going to see through? Oh, sure. This is Bob. 
There's the slip. Yeah, this one. Which I think it's on the plane. You know how you do that? Yeah. How did Karen do this? She wraps it around and said, first. It looks good. It does. It looks so hot. It really does. Your hair looks great. It does. It looks so hot. It really does. Look at your lips. I think you should wear more lipsticks, Denise. Hey, hello. Oh, my God. Down at the Ashford Gate, two more of OJ's inner circle have arrived. Reggie McKenzie, the lineman who blocked for OJ in his glory days with the Buffalo Bills. And Skip Taft, OJ's lawyer and financial advisor, still with him today. Well, and that's OJ's daughter. Arnell. Hi. Oh, boy. I'm sitting here. Oh, God, I can't even believe this. Inside the house, the bride is growing anxious. Did you see OJ? Yeah. Did you? Is he nervous? Um, he's pretty cool. Yeah, I think he's kind of... He has composure. It's funny, because I'm just so excited. Weird. The big moment for bride and groom that February morning was to be 11 o'clock, and that moment was growing closer. We'll be back with both the bride, the groom, and their families in a moment. You belong to me. Oh, I oh, I her. Her. oh pretty good. Yeah. Tomorrow on A Current Affair, O.J. and Nicole exchange vows. The wedding video of the century continues. Worried about your child? Keep your eye out for these warning signs. Unable to control temper. Consistently defies authority. Suddenly fails at school. Imagines physical symptoms, acts overly aggressive, lies consistently, deliberately cruel to animals, harms other children. If you're worried about your child, Charter can help you find the right resources. If you don't get help at Charter, please get help somewhere. Right now at your local Olds retailers, you can spring into spring in a Supreme, the 1995 Cutlass Supreme, and take advantage of a special limited-time Supreme monthly payment of just $239. And standard Supreme excitement includes the 3100 V6 engine, dual airbags, analog brakes, power windows and locks, AM, FM, stereo cassette, and lots more. All for just $239 per month. But remember, this special offer is for a limited time, so don't miss out. Spring out over to your local Olds retailer today. On board the U.S. Navy's most lethal fighting machine. We're here to preserve democracy, not to practice it. One man was trained to follow orders. The use of nuclear weapons has been authorized. And another. If we launch, a billion people are going to die. I've made a decision. Had the courage to question them. Denzel Washington. I'm assuming command of this ship. Gene Hackman. You're not assuming anything. Lock him in his stateroom. I'm the commander of this ship now! Crimson Tide. Rated R. Starts Friday, May 12th. Being mayor is, is one of the best jobs that anyone could have. It's a chance to help the people, and really, I have to thank the people of Fort Wayne for giving me this responsibility, this position for the last eight years. I'd say I've got a good record, and I've got good ideas for the future. We've got goals to make it a safer community, goals to make it a growing community, goals to, to make government even more efficiently run. I need their help with their vote. I need their help with their ideas. If they want the city to move forward, if they want the city to progress, I think I'm the person that can do it for them. How do you become a millionaire? By playing Who's Your Millionaire Madness. Each weeknight, watch 33 News at 6 for your opportunity to win these. Who's Your Millionaire lottery tickets and your chance at $1 million. The Who's Your Millionaire is one of the most exciting games on television. And TV33 is giving away 3,000 chances to become a big winner. And that's not all. Each ticket can instantly win you up to $500 or a seat on the big show. So become a millionaire from the Who's Your Lottery and TV33. Welcome back to our special presentation of the O.J. and Nicole wedding video with Allison Holloway and Steve Dunleavy.
So, moments to go before O.J. Simpson and Nicole Brown are joined as husband and wife. If Nicole is nervous, she's hiding it. And if O.J. is not nervous, he's hiding it. As we watch the wedding day unfold, it's remarkable how average and how normal it all seemed to be. Okay, down. One more time. I don't want, them, I don't want these guys to see. And look at me, both of you. The Brown family gathers before giving away their daughter in marriage. Look at that. Well, what am I supposed to do? Hello, Daddy. Gorgeous. I don't even know you anymore. You belong to me. Oh, I the parents of the bride, Judifer and Lou Brown. Yes, the tiny thing. Love it. Love it. Pretty pretty, huh? Oh, and you get married, AC, you may be in next year. O.J. and his party are in another part of the mansion, at the bar. Hey, see, give us an example. This is an Here example we go. where if you at the wedding, we just say, you can Hi, I'm on a very nice occasion today to see O.J. go down to one of these occasions that, uh, you know, makes you want to live. You know, to see something like this, a friend, so getting married, living, you know, happily ever after. Inspiration, so to speak. Oh, that's it. Save the footage. Inspiration, so to speak. I'm going to draw Sally from San Francisco. The final moments of his bachelorhood. One last meeting of the boys' club. Yeah. You know what the funny thing is? I asked my dear one question I gotta know. Did you think you were on a roll? <laughs> I know. What is it? It's really weird. It's funny because I'm not. It's really weird. I'm not even nervous. I am nervous until now. Just ask them. Seems to be the reason for the first fight. So we're all just. Oh, boy. Oh, the sun? I know. Aren't you happy? Well, it's like the sun's coming out. It's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock when it's happening. By 11 o'clock. I, I, I keep telling Nicole. I've got all this stuff. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Keep telling Nicole. Tell her who? It's my mom Ron, Ron, Ron. Hi, Ruff. Hi, Ruff. Hi, Ruff. It's moments before the ceremony. Hide all the evidence? That's one of the buddies joking about those little black books. Nicole and Denise get last minute instructions from the minister. Let me show you what you need. I don't want to go out there and see anybody. Well, okay. Tell me. <laughs> you and your dad yeah. are going to stop in front of the chairs. Right. Uh, OJ and I and the two guys are going to be down on the bottom. Here's to you, America. In the line. In the lap of America, I'm no longer in the line. I haven't been Steve, what strikes you the most about all this? Allison, Obviously, the hominess of the whole affair, but mm -hmm. just as obvious, more than three hours of total irony. Mm. You know, up till now, the image of Nicole has been one of tragedy, even innuendo, Steve. But I think seeing this wedding video for the first time, we see Nicole, the real Nicole, as a sweet, lovely, innocent young woman on her wedding day with the world at her feet. And I think it really hits home what a loss this is. Well, we'll find out what Nicole's parents thought about the take. More on that and the wedding vows when we come back. Hi, OJ, take you. 
to be my wedded wife. Be my wedded wife. I tried this bath bar because I'm just wild about lather. Oil of Olay bath bar is full of moisture-rich lather. And this is meaningful lather, full of moisture. These bubbles actually do something. Unlike soap, it helps hold moisture in. So skin isn't just softer, its condition and texture are actually improved. Incredible lather and incredible skin. All for just the price of a beauty bar. Hold on to moisture with Oil of Olay bath bar. Hey, it's the only skin that I'm ever going to have. I better take care of it. It's never fun to eat and run, to rush and eat too fast. Cause you know it's gonna catch up with you at last. For acid indigestion or heartburn with headache, nothing's faster than Alka-Seltzer. Get yourself some Alka-Seltzer and you'll feel better fast. Hey, Weed Warriors. This stuff takes two to four weeks to kill weeds. That's a month. Spectracide's grass and weed killer works in just 24 hours. Quick and painless. Got them lying on my keys. Weeds can't hide from Spectracide. If you want to know how good life really tastes, you need to wait a few years. Caffeine-free Diet Coke. No caffeine, no sugar, no limits. The professionals that clean it know that winter's been hard on your carpet. Now's the time to clean it and take advantage of our spring specials. Get any area clean for $20, two area minimum, or any five areas for only $85. Call today for our carpet cleaning specials or to find out more about our specials on furniture cleaning and DuPont Teflon carpet and furniture protectors. 484 -0304. It's not clean till it's clean it clean. Now, here's a preview of day two of the O.J. and Nicole wedding tape, the exchange of vows. We need models today of what love really is. O.J. Simpson and Nicole Brown exchange their sacred vows. I, O.J., take you to be my wedded wife. Be my wedded wife. A world exclusive. In sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. The wedding video of the century continues. Steve and Allison will be back with day two of that exclusive tape tomorrow. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Penny Daniels. See you tomorrow. And her missus, O.J. I just want to say it was the happiest day of my life. It really was. And everybody said it would be.